Hello, and thank you so much for watching. My name is Britta, and you are watching Bits with Britta. Hello, and thank you so much for watching today. If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and pressing the little bell icon for notifications. Today, I'm going to make Monte Cristo casserole. We ate Monte Cristo casserole for Easter. It was delicious. I will link my Easter video up above. Today I'm going to show you how to make this delicious recipe and it's definitely keto friendly. If this is something that interests you, please keep watching. The first thing we need to do is melt four tablespoons of butter. Once it's melted, you're going to place it on the bottom of your baking dish. This is just greasing your pan. Next, we need to soften four ounces of cream cheese. Once your cream cheese is softened, you're gonna place it into your blender. I'm using the Ninja Pro that I purchased on Amazon. I will link my Amazon video. Then you're gonna add four eggs to the blender. Then you're gonna add four tablespoons of mayo. I use the Sir Kensington mayo that is avocado oil based. Next, you're gonna add one tablespoon of avocado oil. Next, you're gonna add one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. Next, you're gonna add your dry ingredients. You're gonna add a quarter teaspoon of mustard. A dash of salt, a half teaspoon of baking powder, now I'm going to blend this mixture up so it's nice and smooth. The next thing we're going to do is add some of the mixture on the bottom of the casserole dish. This is creating your base. Spread it around. Now we're gonna bake the bottom of the casserole for seven to nine minutes. cook for seven to nine minutes at 400 degrees. As I'm waiting for the base to bake in the oven, I'm going to start making my homemade jelly. A Monte Cristo has eggs, cheese, and jelly a part of it, and usually has a bunch of bread, but, but this is a keto casserole, so we are 86ing the bread. So I'm going to make some homemade jelly. I'm going to start with some berries. These are frozen strawberries, and I'm going to defrost them. Now that my berries are nice and soft, I'm going to mash them up. If you don't like jam or jelly to be thick and lumpy, then by all means put your strawberries into the blender or whatever fruit you're going to use. I've used raspberries, I've used blackberries before. Just make sure that you are making it the way that your family will enjoy. Next, I'm going to add a sweetener of choice. Today, I'm gonna to use Lakanto monk fruit sweetener with erythritol. The reason why I don't use sugar-free jelly is because it has all kinds of artificial sweeteners that make our stomachs hurt, and it's not the best for you. So I use monk fruit with erythritol. And that's gonna be our homemade jelly to put into our Monte Cristo. And then I will be placing my ham and my cheese. I'm using provolone cheese, Organic Valley, and I'm using Applegate Organics uncured black forest ham. Next, I'm gonna layer four or five slices of the provolone cheese.
then I will add four or five slices of ham, some of my homemade jam. Then you pour the remainder of your batter. Now we bake for the remainder and we will be baking at 400 degrees for 12 to 15 minutes. Placed it on broil for a few minutes so the top could get crispy, but now it is ready. It just needs to cool and then you slice it and enjoy. That's how you make Monte Cristo casserole. You could make this for a special occasion, you could make it for Sunday brunch, or just a keto dinner that would be delicious. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please consider subscribing, like, and share, and I hope you are well. Take care.